Hey chickies, thank you so much for hanging out with me for a bit today and hope you guys are all having a great start to the month of April. We're going to be chatting all about the March obsessions. These are the best in beauty and lifestyle for the whole month. Last month, I feel like I didn't really film too many beauty related videos. However, I did test out a lot of beauty products. <laughs> If you're new here, I'm Christine, Curate Beauty, Lifestyle, as well as Raw Vlogs. Greatly appreciated. If you please subscribe to my channel, would absolutely love it if you'd be part of the Chicky crew. Also, don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new videos. Six Flags Magic Mountain finally opened here in Southern California and I was able to go last Thursday and I will be going weekly like moving forward for the next two months. If you are interested in seeing anything that has to do with adrenaline roller coasters I will be also doing like 360 vlogs, walkthroughs, live streaming. My second channel which is more of like a roller coaster adrenaline channel. Please make sure you subscribe. I'm going to link it down below and also up in the card area Area and also at the end of this video would really really appreciate it and would love to have you hang out with me over there really wanted to mention this foundation from the brand Revlon color stay light cover foundation it has a natural finish it contains the sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 35 and it's a 12 hour foundation since I have tanned a bit now I have to mix a bit of 440 caramel with a, a bit of 330 natural tan so nice and lightweight. If you are oily skin, combo skin, if you have dry skin, this is an excellent, excellent foundation. It does transfer though to your mask, uh, just a little heads up. You could definitely build up the foundation without it feeling or looking cakey. I am wearing it full coverage today because I did kind of layer it up, but it still feels nice and lightweight. It is a little bit difficult to like figure out which one is your exact shade because packaging is a little bit deceiving. It does also oxidize a bit so that's something just to keep in mind. For the longest time I was searching for this blush from e.l.f. Putty Blush. I believe this one is called... Where's the sticker? The sticker is gone but I am wearing it today. It's a really really pretty like peachy shade. This was the one shade that was always sold out. Like every other shade would be there except this one. It's a cream that turns into a powder. It's very easy to build up. Let's go in with this little small brush from A Cosmetics and then just kind of start dabbing it onto the skin just like this gives the cheeks a nice natural flush. Let's talk about highlights. This is definitely more of like a rediscovery product and it is from the brand Iconic London. Um, it's one of their liquid highlighters in just the shade Original. It's a highlight that is, um, I will say it's a very beaming highlight. You definitely have to go sparingly with this because it could look super, super icy. Take like a small dab of this on the top of my cheek cheekbones and then start pouncing it with a damp sponge just so that it evenly distributes and you don't see like little circles on exactly where you place the highlight. It gives the skin a little bit of like um, a sheen but you can also build it up so it's really intense like if you want that beaming highlight effect. Let's talk about lashes and they are the ones I'm wearing. I have been wearing them for the past month. Um, unfortunately, I think you can only get these in store at Walmart. So they're from the brand Salon Perfect Winged Dummy Collection. It's a pack of two and these lashes have just been my jam the whole month. I have been absolutely just loving these lashes. Here's what they look like in the container and I did trim them a bit on the ends because it is like with most lashes, I always have to trim them. They are incredibly, incredibly comfortable. It doesn't feel heavy. I love my lashes to be a little bit more dramatic and just like fluffy and these really, I feel like they just really accentuate the eyes. Whenever I'd go out, uh, people would ask me like, oh, what eyeshadow are you wearing? What brown is that? And I would tell them it's from this palette. So it's actually, you know, a palette that I've had for a while, kind of rediscovered it. It's from Dominique Cosmetics. It's the Latte Palette. I am wearing the shadows today. Um, I believe I used this color caramel as my transition. 
the outer corners used double shot the purple the middle portion hazelnut if i'm not mistaken the inner corners i went in with uh, some macchiato for the liner i mixed in a bit of hazelnut and mocha as my liner then just cleaned it up with some concealer i still love wearing you know lip products regardless if they're you know a matte lipstick or if it's a lip gloss i still love wearing it sent from revlon it's called the uh color stay satin ink uh lip liquid lipsticks so i have two shades the one i'm wearing today 001 your go-to when you even see it here on the uh, doe foot on the applicator it looks a little bit more on the brown side but when it mixes with my body chemistry it's more of like a mauvey pink these do have more of like a satin finish it does transfer just a little heads up but it doesn't I will say it doesn't feather like crazy because there are some liquid lipsticks regardless if it's a matte or a satin finish where it will just like feather like crazy especially when you're wearing your mask and you're just like oh my gosh you know what happened but this does not feather i also did use it with a lip liner which i'm obsessed with these lip liners from makeup revolution is it makeup revolution yeah no from revolution beauty it's called the satin kiss lip liners this one is in the shade heart race so this is what I paired it with. And then over top, I've been loving this lip gloss. It's the NYX. This is Milky Gloss in the shade Milk and Honey. It's very sheer, but it's a great lip gloss just to kind of put over top of any lip product. And it just, it looks beautiful. Like, look at that. It gives it like a nice shine. Other one that I have been also really enjoying, it's in the shade Wild Ride. This in the tube, it looks more of like a brown. See, it does look like it's more of like a brown. But when I wear this, it definitely looks like more of like a deep rose color. I wore it with the lip liner, also from Revolution Beauty, in the shade Chauffeur. So it did turn it a little bit more on the rosy, like a, a deeper rose color. It doesn't really have a scent to it. They're very comfortable on the lips. They are moisturizing uh, because it does have a satin finish. I just personally, I love to just put a gloss over top of it. You could just leave it as is. I also wanted to talk about a product that I tried out. I know that there was so much hype about this mascara. It was like so difficult to find, but to be honest don't feel like it really did much for my lashes and it's the maybelline lash sensational sky high mascara in the waterproof version maybe it's because it's an, it's the waterproof version let me show you the wand makes my lashes a little bit more prominent the waterproof formula i, I will say it is pretty good um but i prefer the other one the um lash paradise mascara that's waterproof that really like lengthens and volumizes my lashes and that formula is like the waterproof oh my gosh that thing you really got to take like some something oil based to really remove it because it doesn't go anywhere two less skincare so poreless deep exfoliating blackhead scrub I've heard so many great things about tula i've tried out a few of their products have really enjoyed it oh my gosh it exfoliates your skin like so well your skin feels nice and smooth and soft pink salt volcanic sand and witch hazel helps purify pores and minimizes the look of blackheads good for you ingredients like probiotics raspberry leaf and pomegranate to reveal smoother softer and more balanced skin which every time i have used this my skin just felt phenomenal it felt so nice and it looked really nice and smooth i did use it today the reason why i kind of figured this wouldn't work is because the scrub it's like nothing it's very gentle that i was thinking it wouldn't even do anything to my skin because i have tried other scrubs where it felt like this and my skin just did not feel any different after using it but this honestly left my skin feeling soft without stripping it which is also very very important to finally try out the good molecules rose water daily cleansing gel now this was sent to me for reviewing purposes from good molecules i have raved about them in the past it really does remove all of your makeup it cleanses the skin but it doesn't strip the skin it doesn't leave your skin feeling tight which i also do appreciate you can't even smell the scent of rose in here which if you are sensitive to fragrances 
you need to check this one out. The best part is that they are so affordable. If you want a bit of that glow to your skin, highly recommend you check out uh, this product from the brand Tree Hut. It's one of their shea, it's a tropical glow firming whipped shea body butter with shea butter, kapakua butter, pistachio, and guarana extracts. It smells amazing. It smells like pistachios with like a fragrance. It is thick. So if you can see, it is like, it's pretty thick. I love to use this on my legs, on, um, on my arms, you know, just on my body. Also up here in the decollete area, hopefully you can see it. it does give your skin a bit of that luminosity, sweet, fruity scent to it. So if you're not really into that, I don't think you will like this. This body butter, it's a little bit thicker, so you can still feel it on your skin, but it doesn't feel oily or greasy. It's just like you can feel that you have a lotion on your skin, if that makes any sense. So that's something maybe to take into consideration before purchasing it in case if you don't like that, if you just would rather have the lotion like absorb completely into your skin let me update you on the function of beauty straight hair shampoo with coconut water so I purchased this the other month in a self-care haul with the function of beauty shampoos and conditioners you can add like a little extra no, what is it called like a little pod so you can make it like your own like your own little concoction but I got one specifically for frizziness this shampoo smells fruity watermelon bubblegum why does everything always smell like watermelon bubblegum to me wash my hair I would say like every two to three four days maximum and I love to go in with this first just to really help cleanse the hair since by that time I have already built up some oil then I'll go in with my purple shampoo this does really clean my hair but it doesn't strip it of any of its natural oils it doesn't feel brittle you know how sometimes with some shampoos it can really just like strip your hair of everything with this it I don't feel that at all the frizz um, little pod that I put in here it didn't really do anything for me in my opinion would I purchase this again yeah I would but I would definitely get a different pod um, to try out this next product really surprised me and this was sent over by Fanola it's called the no yellow mousse conditioner so when I saw this I was like what exactly is this, you know? I was so intrigued by it, but I was thinking, is this thing even gonna work? Because I already do use the Fendola Purple Shampoo. Let's put a little bit so you can see what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. It smells good. You basically just leave it in your hair for a few minutes and then you rinse it out. And this, in conjunction with the Purple Shampoo, is just amazing. When we came back from Las Vegas around March, eight or nine there were some sections of my hair especially the parts that are already that have already grown out so like closer to you know the, where my natural hair they were turning a little bit orange maybe i just wasn't getting the shampoo in that area so it wasn't toning those specific areas so when i tried this out when we got back from vegas i was just like oh my gosh it toned all those little areas that i just did not see and it was just incredible. I was just so, I honestly was so amazed by it. If your ends are pretty dry, go in with another conditioner. I use the Aussie three minute con deep conditioner. They just need like the extra loving care. So that is it. That is everything I want to chat with you about for March Obsessions. I hope I didn't miss anything because I feel like we did cover a lot of topics. Let me know your obsessions. What items have you been loving, not loving? Do you have any product recommendations I should check out? Would love to get your feedback. Hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today and found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure you give this video a like. Subscribe if you have not already. Would love for you to be part of the Chicky crew. Thank you, Chicky, so much for watching. Stay safe and healthy, and I will see you in the next video.